just as a viewer, when I was kind of the earliest age possible, really, um, and being four and five and, and watching the very beginning of, of Tom Baker in that first year, the, the one that we've all kind of watched again because of the Blu-ray release recently, the kind of magical first season that he was in, and, and feeling that you know he was my doctor at that age, and that never left me. Um, and then, you know, and then I think the books, and the books being available between seasons when I was a kid and getting them from the library and reading and rereading those, those target books. And then, of course, you know, trying to write my own um, from the earliest possible age as well. So, uh, yeah, very, very vivid memories that have never left me. Um, well, I was writing stories from the very earliest times um, so I could you know, arrive at school <laughs> and get all the work done, but, but then go off and write my own stories. That was uh, something that was encouraged at my, my school, which was amazing. Um, so I always knew I wanted to write and, and, and write my own stuff. And went off and, and did English, as, as you do. And I went off to Lancaster University and spent as long there as I possibly could. I did degree after degree and did creative writing, did a PhD. And by the time I was on with that, I'd sold my first novel. Uh, first couple of novels, um, and it was a f still a few years before I did a Doctor Who book. It was after I did my own stuff, and then towards the end of the 90s, in my mid-20s, started getting involved properly in Doctor Who. I'd never been involved in fandom or anything like that, but I knew a few people, just coincidentally, who'd written Doctor Who books, and I thought, oh, I really should. I should get involved in this. I couldn't resist it, and, um, and I've loved it. It was 20 years of doing bits of Doctor Who tie-in stuff, audios and, and novels and short stories and I've, um, yeah, I've been through the mill with them all, I've done lots. Well, I mean, I guess she was a way of writing Doctor Who with finding a way of breaking all the rules and she's somebody who doesn't do what the Doctor would do. She has adventures out of order, she meets the Doctors out of order and she um, hounds him. <laughs> Through, through time and, um, and drinks and smokes and travels on, in, a, in a TARDIS that's smaller on the inside. And she came from um, all kinds of things, really. But I do remember being in a bar in Soho in, in mid to late 90s with friends and seeing this, this really old woman in a fur coat and a big hat drinking by herself. And we sent her over a drink and, and talked to her. And she said she'd been there every Thursday night since the war, waiting for her brother to turn up because they had this arrangement to meet. And it was this really moving story that there she'd been, you know, coming back every week for 50 years. And that, to me, is the kind of the heart of, of Iris as a character. So I, I rescued her imaginatively by turning her into, into Iris. And she's, um, yeah, she took on a life of her own through you know doing the books but then through Katie being involved and Katie uh, creating the voice for that character the look for that character and becoming it and um, you know and then things like last night where we perform a, a full script with, you know, this cast on stage it's, it's, it's something that's grown and grown and taken on its life from that initial moment um, watching talking to this woman in Soho so yeah, it's been fantastic watching Iris develop. The Diary of a Doctor Who Addict was a novel that I did in, I guess, 10 years ago. And it covers more or less my, a piece of my childhood when I was about 10. Um, and really obsessed with, with Doctor Who. And it covers us living on a um, council estate in the northeast. Um, it was like a kind of labyrinth of black brick, really, a, a modernist, brutalist council estate um, where we had adventures and we played down the burn in the woods and we ran around and read Doctor Who novelizations and made up Doctor Who stories amongst us all as kids. It's also a tricky year in that um, uh, there's all kinds of family changes going on and they're all in there, in the book. Um, I don't, it's, it's interesting to hear that, that you thought it was all fiction because it's probably the truest novel I've written and there's also that thing of coming out and realising at that age that you're gay 
and what that means about being different to everybody else and realising how your body's changing and all those kind of classic teen fiction tropes really but all alongside this realisation that Tom Baker's left Doctor Who and Doctor Who will never be the same again um, yeah, which, which was true of the early 80s it was this feeling that, that, that everything had changed and, and growing up was a, you know, something you had to contend with and deal with and, and it's exciting and scary at the same time so it's a novel about, about all of that. Yeah. The newest book I've got um, is called The Novel Inside You, which is um, a book about writing and creativity um, and reading. And it's a very personal book, again, that isn't really telling you how to write, it's telling you to go and write. And that, that's what I want to do. I want to inspire people to go off and, and not necessarily write some kind of commercial blockbuster, but to kind of nourish that, that creative self that wants to keep a journal, that wants to go and draw, that wants to do all the things that you think about doing, but you might get shy of getting your drawing book out in public or, or, um, or calling yourself a writer or um, you know, the kind of things that, that your internal sensor tells you, you can't do that, you're not good enough. So it's about practice. And messing about with, with words and stuff on, on, on the page and giving people confidence to do that. But also it's kind of charting my progress and telling stories about um, the kinds of adventures I've had in, in writing, the kind of disasters I've had in the world of, of my own career, um, and being honest about those things. So that's, that's what that book is. And it's filled with um, drawings as well, which is lovely to, to have done. So I'm really pleased with it. So it's a kind of memoir-y, um, a memoir-y book.